Oh, wow. <laughs> what a goal that was. Look at this. Great goal. Welcome back, ground hoppers, to Matt the Ground Hopper channel. And today it is a bank holiday Monday, and there is a full program of non league football today. But I looked at the fixtures, I thought, you know what? Chatham Town doing really well. They are, they've won four out of four so far, and they're away to Dulwich Hamlet, sort of South London. And the two clubs in this division, which is the Isthmian Premier League, Dulwich Hamlet and Chatham get the biggest crowds by far. The last game Dulwich Hamlet played, they got just under 2,000. So I'm hoping it's going to be a bit crowded today. Chatham Town, by friends, but they travel in numbers to London. It's quite a very, it's a very easy journey for them. So, so I've just got off the train station at East Dulwich, and it's literally a five-minute walk on the ground behind me over there. So um, it's about an hour to kick off. So I'm going to have a wander around and take some more footage and try and get in early, get a drink and things. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be supporting Chatham Town today. For you, for those of you don't, who don't know me on this channel, I'm very much a Gillingham fan. They're my number one team, but Chatham, I do follow them closely because it's my hometown where, where I come from. I don't live there now, but I was very much born in Medway, so I do like to keep an eye on what they're doing, and they've had a very good cut of seasons. Um, so, yeah, so it'd be interesting today. Good test for them today, away to another big size club, Dulwich Hamlet, who got relegated last season from the Conference South or National League South, and um, Chatham got promoted. So, this is what's so good about the pyramid pyramid system in the UK you get ties like this where you've got a relegated team playing a promoted team in the league which is why it's so exciting but yeah so I'm gonna have a wander around and I'll see you outside the ground Okay, so I'm outside the ground. This must be the main stand. It's sort of quite a modern brick built sort of building, which houses the main stand, corporate facilities by the looks of it. But there's a blue plaque on the wall here and it says Edgar Cale, Dulwich Hamlet, 1900 to 1976, last amateur footballer to play for England. So there we go, a little bit of claim to fame for Dulwich Hamlet. I had the last amateur footballer to play for England who played for Dulwich Hamlet. <laughs> but this is the ground here on the outside. The main stand um, sort of shares the same entrance as the um, loading bay for Sainsbury's, which is right next door to the ground. But but really, really, really in the heart of South London, here, it's um, yeah, very sort of very built up. Lots of housing around. I'm assuming that's why they get decent crowds because there's a lot of chimney pots in this area. Lots of houses, lots of flats. Um, can't really see much really on the outside, so we will have to have a wander inside and. Have a good look round, I think, but... Some inside the ground, it's, um... It's not a bad little ground actually. It's, you've got like a, a brewery and a bar to the left of me. I just behind me here, look. That's like a pub, <laughs> a brewery. You've got a bar in the far corner. There's a bar on the left corner, see? Three of the four corners is a pub or a bar area. So, but yeah, so you've got the main stand to the left, all seats, sort of stand behind both goals. And you've got like a sort of standing area to the right of me with a roof, but, but yeah, so it's just quite a tidy little ground. Pitch is grass, which I like. Pitch is looking really, really good condition. And, you know, crowd-wise, I hope there's a big crowd today, because the atmosphere will be amazing, because it's quite enclosed, so you can imagine the sound reverberating around. But, yeah, but, you know, so far, so good. The first impressions are, I'm actually quite impressed with this. Um, players warming up now. But, um, a few Chatham fans milling about. But just a quick thing on the 
the home kit for Dunwich Hamlet is, is basically pink and purple stripes, which I've never seen before. It's a very unique home shirt that, that they wear. Um, not to my taste, but um, but it makes them stand out. But yeah, so we've got about, I don't know, half hour till kick off, and it is hopefully going to be a good game with a Chatham win. Come on, Chatham, make it five out of five. the best thing about non-league grounds is you can just walk around you know you're not stuck in one area and it's sort of open all areas which is quite good so i'm just in the corner now and it's a freedom it's quite nice you can watch the game from different angles but one thing i would say about dulwich hamlet is their food and drink offering is pretty decent actually um huge sausage rolls and decent like there's some like meatballs and stuff <laughs> and so and you've got these breweries as i said so yeah, it's a big thumbs up to their food food and drink offering at Dulwich Hamlet because it's one of the best things I've seen actually and all the grounds I've been round at all levels in, in the UK and this is definitely one of the best ones for food and choice of food but, um... yes. oh, oh. Still nil nil, but you know what? I'm actually impressed with this ground. It holds about just over 3,000 and it's pretty full up today. There's not a lot of space left, you know, you're walking around, it's quite tight on the aisles, but um, yeah, so they're by Dulwich Hamlet. They've got, they've got very good local support. Um, yeah, so very impressed with the ground, good food, as I said earlier on, and um, good atmosphere as well. But still nil nil. Um, Chatham playing in, your, in their away kit, all white. Hopefully, Chess is going to be shooting this in second half, so hopefully, we'll get a chat. At least a chess will be nice, but still, you'll need. Hamlet Neil Chatham one and sort of what's good about these away games is no sort of away segregation so all the fans are just mixed up so sort of every other fan cheers but yeah so just missed the goal right at the far end but yeah so it's uh, one nil to Chatham and we're in Richard injury time at the end of the first half come on Half time here, I think it's Dulwich nil, Chatham one, and if I'm being honest, Chatham have been well on top this first half. So currently 1 0, could have been a couple, I think they hit the post as well early, early part of the first half, but they were shooting this in second half. A lot of the fans are transferring over now because Dulwich fans want to stand behind the goal they're shooting at, so you get a bit more segregation second half because the Chatham fans will stay this end, Dulwich fans were the other end, but yeah, so half time it is 1 0 to Chatham. Scored it from a header on a rebound, so um, picked right in this end. <laughs> right 
away in front of the away fans. But yeah, so happy away fans now. Bunny's nil, Jackson two. Dyke has scored, got a goal back, it's now Dyke 1, Chatham 2. I mean, to be fair, Chatham have well on top, even in the second half. Thanks to run a play, if I'm being honest, but, um, yeah, you know, 2 1, you know, we're going to keep winning this game, don't be drawing it, but, um, yeah, so it's now 2 1. We've spent a two-goal lead. It's now Dolly Brown, Chatham, three. Great goal. I said we've Chatham here well on top, second half. Um, they're going to be top of the league at this rate. Um, I don't know how Enfield Town are getting on. They're going to be top or joint top, but well deserved to be top of the league and deserve to be winning this game. Three-one. Come on. Yeah. Second half's been unbelievable. But you know, top of the league, deserve to be top of the league on this on this merit and um yeah, very good, very um very impressive. So yeah, Dulwich Hamlet one, Chatham five. So Dulwich just scored another goal, so it's now Dulwich two Chatham five, and we got about a minute to go in injury time now, but it's a real consolation goal for them. Chatham we well on top, top, well on top, and well we deserved top victory we with about a minute to go. Five, three, two. Three. There we go, full time. Punish <laughs> two, Chatham five, seven goals. The video, brilliant. So, a couple of things. Firstly, I just want to say that the actual Dulwich Hamlet's ground, I was very impressed. Actually. It's one of my favourite non league grounds. I don't know why, it's just had a really good feel about it. Um, really good atmosphere. There's over 2,200 there today, so a really good turnout. A lot of home fans, and um, yeah, just really good food, good drink, and just a really good atmosphere, as I say. So, it's one of my favourite grounds for non league. And secondly, I'm in Chatham Town. I mean, honestly. They're showing real quality and I said in a previous video that I think they could go up to the National League within three years. Well, I'm watching what I'm watching today, they could quite easily be getting promoted this season, you know, and they could be a National League club the next season. A National League South club, apologies. But, um, yeah, I mean, so really good. Uh, well done to Chatham. Um, caught some really good goals at the end, this end, uh, where I was standing. But, uh, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for getting to the end, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and comment and I will see you at my next ground, probably at the weekend, but thanks for watching, bye for now.